Hello, in this video I will show how to generate subroutines using Sprout Campus processor. Uh, first of all, uh, we must to create the project that generates this subroutine. Uh, to make it, we use uh, transformation and multiply tool pass, define uh, multiplying by subroutine, uh, copy tool pass along X axis and define the subroutine name. After the calculation, uh, we can see this tool pass. Call subroutine, change the origin, and after that, again call the subroutine. Okay, so start the post processor generator. And uh, I choose a simple post processor, common. Fanuc 0M open. Uh, if I start uh, run this post processor, uh, then we can see that there is no subroutine. Uh, subroutine is not generated. Uh, we can see only two calls, but there is no subroutine. Uh, so we must to add the code in this post processor to generate the subroutines in the different files. Uh, how to do it? Uh, first of all, I recommend to see the help. Uh, there is the page basic languages, operators, and there is the topic operators, operators of work with in C subroutine. And we can see the last topic, uh, how to work with subroutines. Uh, in this topic, th there are three parts. First part, we can generate the subroutine before the main program. Uh, we can generate the subroutine after the main program. And uh, we can generate the subroutine in the place of the first call of this program. Uh, well, uh, if you read it, uh, you can see this operator uh, in C sub output. If we want to generate uh, subroutine before the command, we need to add this operator operator in the part no subroutine. If we want to add it after the program, we need to add it in fini. Well. Uh, after that, uh, I can call it in and add it in Fini, for example. Copy this one and go to post processor and insert uh, Fini. And after this sign, I insert in C sub output. If I click it, uh, then the program was outputted, uh, and then in C sub was generated. So this one. There is another uh, another command that work like this output, and it uh, has the name output all. Uh, it output all uh, subroutines of the project because project can contain more than one subroutine. And description of this command also there is in the help. So this command has one operator, uh, one parameter, zero or one. Okay, I take this one. and insert instead this one. If I output zero, we have the same text text in the program. If I put one here, then the subroutine is generated in the different file. Okay. So uh, if we don't uh, call 
this command, then only main operation is executed. This command uh, start the execution of post processor for the subroutine. Okay. Uh, if we will look at our subroutine, we can see uh, that subroutine is, has uh, this command pp fun start sop in the start and it has this command at the end. Uh, so we need to we need to recognize these events. Well, go to ppfun event and add. If ppfun and uh, subcommand is uh, 50, it means start sub. And, and I will output output subroutine header and uh, at the end at the end I can output also uh, subroutine tail after that regenerate the program and we can see subroutine header, subroutine tail here. Okay, uh, for example, uh, the numbers uh, of lines is going on after the main program. 10, 11, 12, and so on. I can, for example, uh, reset it. Uh, the register that use it in this post processor, this register is used for the number of block. Zero. And restart. So, after that we can see new lines. Well, so, how to uh, look at this at the main program. I need to generate the subroutine call here. Uh, if I look at in CL data in the main command, I can see uh, pp fun call sub uh, sub command uh, 52 and we can see it twice for both our profiles. So I have to I have to write uh, event for this one. So it will start it will start if we mm, then the main program works and for example here I can s write output call plus and uh, I would like output uh, the subroutine name uh, how to take it if we will look at the help uh, you can find the so called uh, operator in C subroutines in C sub name. And this one is the number of subroutine. Okay. Uh, I take this one. Go to here. And uh, how to get the subroutine number. Uh, if we will look at PP fun help. Um, one moment. Keep it fun. This one. 
and uh, look at ppfun uh, call sub ppfun call sub mm. and you can see that CLD2 parameter holds the unique identifier of NC sub program so I take this one CLD2 uh, in C name CLD2 that's all so now we can see the subroutine here uh, I think that's all and uh, another thing I want to say uh, you can uh, you can take uh, one moment you can look at the examples uh, here and uh, you can just take make the copies of these descriptors and insert in in your post processor I hope it will work thank you for your attention bye